Hi, it's Tristan back with another video, and in this video I'm going to be comparing the Sony MDR-Z1 headphones, which you see here on the left, to the AudioQuest Nighthawk headphones, which you see on the right. This video is being done by popular request, and I'm going to be comparing these two headphones on factors such as price, design, comfort, and finally sound quality. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and talk about price first. In terms of price, the AudioQuest Nighthawks on the right are certainly a cheaper headphone. Um, just this past holiday season, they were on sale for only like about $350, which in my opinion is an absolute bargain. The price does tend to fluctuate a little bit. Uh, initially, when they were first released, I believe they were $599. Currently, you can find them in the $400 range or so. The Sony Z1Rs are $2,300 headphones, so they're there's definitely a big price gap there. And you know, I think both of the headphones are worth the money, but um, that's something to be aware of in terms of your budget. Um, the Nidocos Nighthawks, I think, are really a good buy for the price. In terms of design, I think they both look equally as cool. The Z1Rs have a more refined, more elegant design, whereas the Nighthawks have a more sort of retro design, especially, especially in the liquid wood model, as you see them here. But they both look very cool and unique, in my opinion. But I would have to give it to the ZR1s in terms of overall design elegance. In terms of comfort, they're both very comfortable headphones. They're not heavy headphones. Both of them, in terms of the headband, uh, you know, sit on your head quite nicely and comfortably. But I have to give the slight edge to the AudioQuest Nighthawks in terms of comfort. Um, I find on the Z1Rs, uh, the top of the headband a little bit right here um, provides a little bit of pressure on the top of my head. Um, so the AudioQuest Nighthawks are a little bit more comfortable, but it's only by a small margin there. Now let's move on to the sound. Both of these headphones can be said to have a very similar sort of sound signature in that they don't have uh, super bright highs or super harsh highs. Um, they both kind of have, in some ways, a laid back sound signature. The AudioQuest Nighthawks tend to have a bit more of a laid back type sound signature and not as dynamic, but both headphones can be considered to have uh, more of a sort of laid back, almost smooth sound signature. In terms of the sound spectrum, let's start with the bass frequencies and then move up from there. Uh, the bass frequencies on the Sony Z1R are definitely more impactful and they also definitely go down deeper uh, than the AudioQuest Nighthawks. That's not to say that the AudioQuest Nighthawks don't have bass, they certainly do have bass, but that deep impactful bass on tracks where you're really supposed to feel it uh, is certainly more evident on the Z1Rs. Now talking about the mids, the AudioQuest Nighthawks have more pronounced mids than the Z1Rs, although I would have to say the Z1Rs are probably a little bit more accurate in that respect, um, but there are slightly more recessed mids than the AudioQuest Nighthawks. Listening to the AudioQuest Nighthawks, the mids are almost as if you're feeding vocals through a guitar amp or something like that. Uh, it has that sort of sound signature where the mids are you know, really quite pronounced and um, maybe not as open sounding as the Z1Rs. Um, that's not to say that uh, that's a bad thing, because I really do enjoy listening to certain tracks and certain vocals with the Nighthawks. Um, they provide a really nice, silky, uh, smooth mids, but they do tend to be quite emphasized, the vocals and the mids do on the Nighthawks. Whereas the Z1Rs, I think, are more accurate, but still quite smooth in the mids. Um, so they're I wouldn't call the mids recessed on the Z1Rs. I would call them a little bit more accurate uh, than the Nighthawks, however. Now, in talking about the highs, as I mentioned earlier, both of them have pretty smooth highs and they don't really throw the highs into your ears um, like some other headphones. So that's something that I appreciate about both of these headphones, actually. Uh, the Z1Rs have a little bit more sparkle in the highs than the AudioQuest Nighthawks, but when I say sparkle, I don't mean the harsh kind of sparkle or anything like that. Um, I think both of these headphones are pretty uh, fatigue-free when I listen to them, although the Z1Rs, I think, again, have a little bit more accurate highs, a little bit uh, more defined and sparkle, whereas the AudioQuest Nighthawks still do have the highs. Um, they're just not quite as present as they are with the Z1Rs. So I find that for a super fatigue-free listening experience, uh, the Nighthawks uh, kind of win. Uh, but when I want to hear more dynamics and probably more of a reference sound and involving sound, the Z1Rs win. 
Now, when talking about the sound stage, the Sony Z1Rs definitely have a wider sound stage than the AudioQuest Nighthawks, probably not only because of the design of them, but also probably because of the fact that the Z1Rs um, have slightly better uh, treble response, which can give you more accuracy uh, in the sound stage. Also, the sound stage on the Z1R is taller as well as wider, whereas it feels a lot more closed in and a lot shorter and more narrow uh, on the AudioQuest Nighthawks. But all in all, both headphones to me are quite fun to listen to. They do sound different, but if I'm looking for more dynamics, uh, better sound stage, and more accuracy, I would definitely go towards the Sony Z. Whereas the AudioQuest Nighthawks probably have a bit of a more fatigue-free and smoother sound signature, and more of a sort of tube-like sound signature, even when you're listening to solid state. Now, if someone said I had to choose one of these headphones and throw the other one away, I would definitely choose the Sony ZR1. They're a more fun listen, they're more impactful, more dynamic, more reference quality, uh, you know, better sense of soundstage, better sense of uh, the room ambience, uh, you know, just a more fun overall listen and more enjoyable overall listen. But they should be because they cost a lot more. So in many ways, you do kind of get what you pay for here. That being said, the AudioQuest Nighthawks are really a fun listen to, um, very silky smooth, you know, very sort of tube-like, not as impactful in terms of the dynamics, especially in the bass region, but you know, still quite a fun listen to overall. And both of these headphones appeal to my listening preferences in that I don't like harsh highs, I like um, more of a smooth sound signature, and I really think that uh, many high-end headphones sort of overdrive the highs and the treble into your ears in the guise of being high resolution. And I really agree with what AudioQuest said originally when the Nighthawks came out, and that is that you know headphones don't have to overdrive the highs into your ears to be resolving and to have all of the resolution that you need. So in terms of both these headphones, the highs are still there. They're just not shouting them at you, which is something that I really appreciate uh, for my listening preferences. Little... Now let's talk briefly about build quality and also where they're made. Uh, the Sony Z1Rs are made in uh, Japan in a, uh, so in a Sony in-house artisan uh, sort of a department within Sony. So they're largely hand-built you know, in Japan and certainly do have a bit of a better build quality than the AudioQuest Nighthawks, which are made in China. The Nighthawks were designed in California, but they are manufactured in China. So that's something that uh, you might want to be aware of as well. As of late, these are two of my very favorite headphones, and I've enjoyed listening to both of them. Lately, just sort of FYI, the Nighthawks have been sort of my bedside uh, headphones, and I enjoy listening to those sort of before I fall asleep and stuff. They really do provide a fatigue-free listen and sound great for music like jazz and vocals. And one of the things I really like about that is because they're kind of fatigue free, your ears aren't getting sort of overdriven or getting any fatigue like right before you go to bed. Whereas the Sony MDR Z1Rs are definitely more of a reference headphone and I will turn to those uh, for most other listening. For listening sessions where I want to listen more intently and maybe not quite as casually. But again, I do enjoy listening to both headphones and in some respects you can't go wrong with either of them. Uh, in terms of the impedance, the uh, Sony Z1Rs have a 64 ohm impedance. The AudioQuest Nighthawks have a 25 ohm impedance, so a little bit different there, but within the same range. And um, they're probably uh, about equal in terms of how hard they are to drive. Both of them sound pretty good just directly out of something like an iPhone or iPod. And both of them scale pretty well, however, when you use a, a headphone amplifier. So, you know, both of them will definitely improve when using a headphone amplifier. So thanks for watching my comparison of the Sony MDR Z1Rs to the AudioQuest Nighthawk headphones. As always, any questions, comments, uh, please leave them in the comments field. And if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, give it a thumbs down. And uh, for pricing and availability, be sure to check that description field. Uh, that way you can get pricing on both of these headphones. Thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video.